All right, for those of you that enjoy watching a full editing process, I'm going to take you through that on this photo. So I'll show you the finished product here, and then I'm going to show you how I did that on this before photo. So if you would like this kind of thing, hang with me. This will take just a couple of minutes to get through. So first things first, I want to make sure that I remove the outlet on here. So I'm actually going to use the little healing tool. Now I know a lot of people like to just click, but I actually like to drag my mouse and hold it down while I kind of make this mark around whatever it is that I want to clone out or heal out. So you can see I just move this. Very good. I had the feather down on that, and then of course the size is just depending upon what you need. All right, so now that that's gone, let's go ahead and apply the preset. So I'm gonna put preset number seven on this because I do like the way preset number seven works on natural wood and anything that almost has kind of a monochromatic feel, which I feel like this image does. So now that I've applied that, what I want to do is go in and just add a little bit more of a dehaze on that so I can bring that wood back out. Very nice. And then up at the very top, just because I'm being a little bit picky, I want to remove that shadow up there that didn't completely go away. So I did the, um, I don't even know what this tool is called. All the people out there that know it, go ahead and leave me a, a message to let me know. But basically I just kind of pulled that in from the corner and now I'm just bumping up the exposure and then I'm actually going to bring in a little bit more of a green tint on that to get rid of that pink shadow from the wood hue. So this is just me being picky and really trying to get the look that I want on this image and then I can add a little bit more of the dehaze on that to bring that back in. That looks fantastic. So now I'm going to go down to transform, hit auto, and it's going to straighten that image up for me. And then the next thing I want to do is really make the greens on that plant pop. So I am going to bring up the hue on that and then maybe just desaturate just a tiny bit. And then the luminance is basically making it lighter or darker. So when you move it to the right, it's going to lighten it up a little bit. If you move it to the left, it's going to darken it. From here, I can either dehaze it just a little bit more to bring out the depth in that wood. I can also lighten it up if I feel like it needs a little bit more lightening. But other than that, it's done. I love this look. I feel like it's just a really clean edit and hopefully you had fun following along.